Have you ever wanted to be invisible? Hands up. When something embarrassing happened, to be a fly on the wall, to get up to mischief. What even is invisibility? Perhaps it depends what you're looking for. If someone's searching for you on, say, LinkedIn, and you don't have a profile, you're invisible to them. If you're in a crowd wearing a striking green hat that people use to identify you, and you take your hat off, you're invisible to them. I doubt that we will ever evolve invisibility, but maybe that depends. Bacteria are pretty much invisible to start with, to the naked eye at least. But sometimes we need to know if they're there and which ones, for example, when we want to diagnose them. This story is about how diagnosis can push bacteria to become invisible. I work in the diagnostic lab here at the University Hospital, and I study the genomes of bacteria, which is all the DNA in an organism. My particular interest is sexually transmitted infections, STIs. If we're going by the European average, <laughs> about six people in this room have chlamydia. <laughs> about 2% of the sexually active population. Should we have another hands up? <laughs> Maybe not. The thing is, even if you have an STI, you might not know about it. Chlamydia and gonorrhea can be symptomless, particularly in women, potentially causing infertility as you remain unaware. So, you go to the doctor or the clinic to get diagnosed. They go and they, they, they look for the bacterium. They take a urine sample or a swab, and they send it to a diagnostic lab like ours. We used to grow the bacteria on a plate or use microscopy, but nowadays, because it's easier, faster, and more sensitive, we tend to look for something called a marker. A marker is something that's really specific to that bacterium, and it's often a small piece of DNA, the green hat in the crowd. What could possibly go wrong? In Sweden, in 2006, the public health people saw a decrease in the number of chlamydia cases. Public health success, right? Except, then they noticed that the decreases were only in certain counties, which is odd. And then they noticed that these counties used a particular diagnostic test, which was different from the other counties. <coughs> so what happened? One particular chlamydia had had a mutation to delete the diagnostic marker. No more green hat. It was to all intents and purposes invisible. So you went to the doctor, you got tested, you were negative, you didn't have any antibiotics, and you went happily off and passed it on. <laughs> Apart from that, the chlamydia had no special powers, it was just invisible. It took up to four years to identify the problem, by which point the invisible chlamydia was causing up to 65% of cases in some counties. So the diagnostic guys got smarter they chose another diagnostic target, one which is essential for the bacterium to live. There's no way it could delete this one. And yet, in Finland earlier this year, they found a chlamydia which had mutated to change its diagnostic marker. Again, invisible. And it's not just chlamydia. There are descriptions of gonorrhea also mutating its genome and avoiding detection. It's so clever. Evolution is chance mutation plus selective pressure. It's often called survival of the fittest. But modern bacteria are under new selective pressures from medicine and diagnosis. They don't necessarily need to reproduce faster or be more virulent or be better at transmitting. Being invisible is a massive advantage, particularly in bacteria that can be symptomless. The very tools that we are using to identify these bacteria are pushing them to become invisible. Diagnosis itself 
is the selective pressure causing these invisible bacteria to thrive. We, in clinical microbiology and public health, are learning the lessons. Don't just use one diagnostic tool. Be aware of when there are diagnostic changes in, in the population. And use research to find out how these sneaky bugs are evolving before it has a chance to make an impact. If you were invisible, how long would it take you to get up to mischief? And how long before anyone noticed? Thank you. <laughs>